And finally, we have the closing remarks from Tyler Gittens from the Global Youth Biodiversity Network. Hi, good day everyone, konnichiwa. Um, so I'd firstly like to note all protocols observed. Um, I'd like to begin this afternoon by asking everyone to give a very resounding round of applause to the funders and organizers of the 2024 International Youth Conference on Biodiversity. On behalf of all my peers, who had the very humbling opportunity to be part of this transformative week-long conference. Thank you to the Global Youth Biodiversity Network team. We acknowledge the long hours that you put into making this conference a reality, and I don't know how you did it, but you had time to listen to each and every one of us. <laughs> um, thank you to the Convention on Biological Diversity the Japan Biodiversity Fund, the Government of Japan, the City of Yokohama, the Eon Foundation, IUCN, and SoftBank. Also, thank you to the kinship team who joined our community and were generous enough to listen to our stories and help us search deeper to tell stories in new ways. <laughs> As I said during my panel recently, we can't be complacent and lose sight of why we are here and what we have been called to do. For decades, young people have been on the periphery of decision-making spaces and at times excluded altogether. And now that we have been invited into these spaces, and given the awesome opportunity to speak on behalf of young people, it is our duty to ensure that we aren't tokenized. And beginning with our very presence, that we shape the policies that we will be custodians of and get the work done on the grassroots levels in our community where the coming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework will become a reality with tangible transformative change. We often hear the phrase that if you don't have a seat at the table, make one of your own. And I can confidently say that the Global Youth Biodiversity Network is a true embodiment of finding a way to make things happen. <laughs> Throughout the conference, we've heard the words community and storytelling a lot. And what Gibbon did when they created this table, was create a community for those seeking support, opportunity, or just an ear to listen. Whether you are a young person in a region of conflict, facing oppression, or simply looking for hope, the Gibbon team has proven that your voice, your actions, and your dedication to your communities deserves to be included in the story being crafted in this very moment that will be told for generations to come. They have proven that you are a valuable thread of the global tapestry based on their determination to overcome the borders that separate us all. However, being here is simply not enough, and we know that. Now it's time to act implement our global biodiversity targets and resist against every force that tells us that true transformative change isn't possible. But what does that resistance look like? While we are weaving a new story about us, we understand that each word, each line, each paragraph, and each chapter of the story needs to be crafted to represent us all. So remember that in your acts of resistance. Whether efforts to support your voices, freedom of expression, and ability to ask questions. Remember that joy is an act of resistance. Learning is an act of resistance. Kindness is an act of resistance. And working on the community level is an act of resistance. Every kind act to the environment and wildlife is an act of resistance. So let us resist. Let us be revolutionaries. 
and let us hold the door open for those that will come after us. Those that we are fighting to ensure that there is a better world for. While unfortunately, I don't think we'll ever get to a place that we have to stop fighting for the world that we believe in and the values that we embody, let the biodiversity conservation work and the conversations that we are having today make it easier for the environmental defenders and activists of tomorrow. There is strength in numbers and there is strength in hope. Let's move forward with hope that true transformative change is possible and that the new story we weave with Meteor will be one that inspires a kind of greener will. Thank you. <laughs>